Hi everyone, today we're going to learn how to sculpt an axe in ZBrush. I'll have the concept down below in the description if you're interested in following along. Let's get started. ZBrush is now open. To get started making the axe, we're going to click on PolyMesh 3D. Click on it again. Click Sphere 3D. And we're going to make this sphere a poly mesh 3D. There we go. So now you should have this down here. We're going to import the concept that I made. So go to texture, import, and add concept. Click on the, the image, add to spotlight, close light box. Click to drag it. I'm going to scale up a little bit. And we're going to just bring the opacity down a bit. Click Z. OK. We're going to start by inserting a cylinder. So go to Insert, Cylinder 3D. Drag it, go to edit. You're going to want to keep your circle at the top. This is going to be the base for where the zero, zero axis is. So we're always going to know if it's off from, uh, from the zero axis for mirroring purposes. Because since this is a, a weapon for a game prop, we are going to have to mirror it. So everything's going to have to be symmet symmetrical. Turn off the circle, just keep it on top. Let's change the mat cap. Okay. Shift Z. It's going to turn it off. We're going to go to Z Modeler. Go on around the lines. Press polyframe. Go on the line. Space. Delete. Edge loop complete. And we're going to delete these edge loops. Okay. Turn off polyframe. Shift Z brings the image back up. I'm going to change the brush and now it gives me some more space again. So I'm, what I'm doing right now is shrinking the cylinder so that it, it fits about the size of the concept. I masked the top. Now I am going to drag it. So I'm bringing it down. I can't really see the mesh too well. I'm going to do Shift Z. Sorry, Z. And I'm going to bring down the opacity for the image. OK, there we go. That's better. Press Z. We're going to shrink this a little bit because we have to build the wraps on top. Oh. It was masked. Unmask it. Shrink it. And extend it. It's okay if it goes through because we're going to make these into separate shapes. Duplicate. I'm going to go up here. Mask the bottom. Bring the top up. And we're going to make the top bigger. 
bring it to the top here so that it doesn't shoot up. That's about good. Control I will invert the mask. And bring it back down. And you want to make the base a little bigger. Okay. So that's good. Gonna take this again, duplicate it, and we're just gonna increase the size. Then we're gonna shrink it. We're gonna size it up to just about what the size is in the concept. We don't have to be too perfect. You know, just try to get it about right. But it's okay if it's not on the dot. Duplicate it. Bring it up, do the next one, duplicate it, break it down, do the bottom one, duplicate, bring it down again, and do the bottom base. We still gotta do the top. Duplicate, bring it up, and do the top. There you go. We'll make this disappear. Turn on the circle to make sure everything is still centered. And everything is still centered on the circle. Perfect. So now we get the major shapes for the base of the axe. We're gonna move on to making the major shape for the blade of the axe now. If you liked my video, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Have a nice day.